do this for France. Will you help me? woman in front of me again. I'll hang you from the nearest tree. Lord or no Lord. Here, this is yours. We're dealing with a culture far from our own, I'm afraid. There must be something we can do. Not a thing. I'll have a word with Daddy at the fence. He'll watch out for him. Quite a colourful character, but a heart of gold. He'll be all right, don't worry. Can I tell you something? I've never had a suitor. No young men calling to pay their respects. No invitations to the aristocratic families of eligible bachelors. And yet, I feel no nerves with you. What the hell did you do with that bottle of vitamin pills? <laughs> Don't ask. But you won't take any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I am glad you noticed that. You walk an example of the horrors of venereal disease. <laughs> now this is a beautiful pen. You slit-eyed piece of kangaroo snot. <laughs> Audacity. Now look at that beautiful workmanship. Now this is the pen you want, isn't it? You're looking exactly like a fortune would. A bloody Aussie. It's all right for brave men to cry. Let me tell you, Dougie Potts. You are a brave man. It was a great revolution, Ariel. Wasn't that supposed to make France a better place to live? It's more corrupt now than it was before. The officials eat meat and drink wine. Yet the people starve on molded bread and rotten fruit. This cannot continue, Ariel. Well, what do you mean? What exactly are you trying to say to me? Tell me it isn't that gypsy boy who came from Claybridge today. Tell me! From one machete to another's machine gun. Give me more shot in the chest and fell on top of me. I, I rolled over so I covered them. Played dead. The soldiers were walking away, so I told them I keep still. No, nothing like that. His lordship is out riding the estate tomorrow. He will need a cold lunch. His footman will collect it in the morning. Enjoyed that beef you gave him today. Perhaps you could make up a cold lunch with the leftovers and some fresh bread. Who are you, Spice Trot? I know you, yet I don't know you. Why do I feel safe with you? What is it that draws me to you? I can't answer your questions. One day, I think you shall marry a beautiful woman and find the happiness you seek. And call me a silly romantic if you like. She's out there waiting for you. You've got bloody air tomorrow, so just leave me alone. Now you know I won't do that, mate. This could be infection. What's your not? Oh, God! Oh! What are you bloody doing? That hurts! Sorry, mate. Pressed a little bit too hard there. But secrets can't last forever. And as soon as I knew that I would not live to see the boys, 21st birthday. I had to make provisions for him on my death. You will find enclosed a letter. I do not want you to open it unless trouble shall fall upon you. I. The only one left. 50 men. Down to 20. And then six. No, just me. What you have done, Miss Thornton, is to stop these children from learning that work is the way out of poverty. Another very important thing that I have noticed is that these children knew my father 
Yet you have not even bothered to tell them that I am the new lord and master here. You boy, come here. You ever strike a woman in front of me again, and I'll hang you from the nearest tree. Lord or no lord. Don't know. Know nothing about my past. Nor you say in time old come right. She used to say secrets don't last forever. I never knew what she meant by that. But I never doubted her. She was a good woman. She brought me up with good values. Spent hours teaching me to read and write. It's the letter. Signed by Lord De Winter. Tobias is the recognized heir to Litchfield Park.